Do you know if they know someone, or do you know someone in the school that you trust, that you have confidence in? Yeah, I make it my business to. That's what I was about to say too. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing is not, but do you have confidence in someone? Someone who you think is your ally, someone who you would trust in. I go straight to the else. principal. Yeah, I work. I work. Yeah. But she's new. Like I explained to you earlier, so it's like she's also looking for that person that's gonna be right there with her, kind of side to side. Do you have someone? Do you have a, um, a trusted person, in, a, a staff person that you I'm trust? the same way, like what she said. You know, when I'm, I trust myself, but whenever I need to lean on someone, I go to the principal because I'm like, I, I'm new in the school. Right. You know, I go to the principal or I'll go to, um, Arrived at the meeting, going now. Do you know where? 821? Mm -hmm. 821? Um, are you looking for like the meeting? Uh -huh. If you go down the hall a few doors, there's like a little kitchenette and you can enter. Just go in? Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is this where the meeting is being held? There's a meeting there. The leadership? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. He's like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, is this where? Is, is this the leadership meeting? No, this is not your meeting. This is different. Yeah? Yes, um, Tony in the front will have the room. I asked him. Yeah. Hello. Is A21? Okay. Yeah, these rooms are confusing. Uh, uh, thank you. Hi. Sorry, so late. No problem. Please have a seat. Okay. You can find over there, man? Sure. Oh, so we have one more hour. So I was gonna use this, Way of Salento. So you could take it, and there's a lot of information in here. Some of the information that I already talked about is in here. So, esto es 
this this was given to in the Parent Academy. I don't know if you know that the Department of Ed is having monthly trainings for PA, no, for elected leaders, for parent leaders. So they have monthly meetings, and I believe it is the second Tuesday of each month. Cada segundo martes de cada mes, el departamento tiene un entrenamiento y es en la 131 de Livingston Street in Brooklyn. 131 Livingston Street, Brooklyn. Yes, I know. And that's at night. Se pone la noche. 131 Livingston. 131 de Livingston. Livingston. Okay, y esa es, esa está en, en, es en Borough Hall. No, yo no sé si ustedes saben el número 4 y el número 5. 4, 5. These are the group norms that you could use in your own meetings. Okay. Uh, Step up, step back, okay? Step up meaning that you stand up. You if a person is gonna talk, they should stand up, talk, or step back once they made their point. One mic, un micrófono, es una persona habla a veces. One person at a time, okay? Limit the phone use, you, you should say. Yeah. If you're gonna use your phones, you know, Step outside. Limitar el uso de su teléfono. Respect each other, experience and opinions. Respect las experiencias y opinions. We do always 4.30 to 5.30. And you should stick to that unless you have permission to extend the meeting. A menos si uno decide la hora, de cierta hora a otra hora, si se puede extender, necesito. Está abierta durante la noche, después de las 5. Capco is open. Some hours. Oh, yeah, the evening hours, because they have the after school program in there as well. So, you live to 5.30. About, uh, about uh, school of excellence, the Morris um, campus. Same thing, 5.30, and they open on Saturday yeah. as well. Okay. In your case? Mm -hmm. open. The same thing. Same. They, they open from... 7.30 all the way down to 5.30. And then the school staff members, they leave around 6. Oh, wow. Bingo. So this is the for, for the after school program? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then the school safety, they leave around 6, 6.15. Right. And then we have bingo night. Okay. Bingo night started at 5. We ended at 7. But they had um, the permission. Right, but you need to you. Needed to have someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the principal was there, school safety was there, janitor was there. Yeah. So those are all regulations. That's yeah. why you need to ask. So that's why the principal sometimes don't want to do a lot of activities. Make arrangements for someone to be there, and then you have that You could you could either um, arrange your meetings when is parent. Um, how do you call it? The parent. How do you call that? When the parents come in to meet the teachers, the you could either meet, um, arrange your meetings um, before the parents teachers conference, um, or you know, well, this arrange is, well, this it is, at that this time. This is the PA. The PA yeah. needs to have. Again, I'm going to say it. The PA needs to have meeting consistently on the same day of the month and the same hour yeah. of the day. And that's not changing, changing hours is not a good practice, and to tell the truth, is not in accordance with the chance of respect. Yeah, we we had to we had to choose, either it was gonna be for um, that day when they were doing the report card, or right after the SLT or before the SLT. So we had to choose. You do. So that's why we we choose that after the SLT. Y las reuniones deben de ser el mismo día del mes y la misma hora del día. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. So, entonces, okay, that. 
The next page. Um, Ubu icebreaker. Okay. Okay, but uh, una actividad. Y una de las cosas que se preguntó es qué quiere decir involucrarse cuando un padre se involucra. What does it mean by the parent being involved? Um, involvement with like getting to know the community, volunteering. What is parent involvement? What is father? Knowing the school community, having a voice. Walking around the areas and getting to know fire departments, see well, this is what how much can you... Parental involvement, what school calls parental involvement. So the escuela llama padres estar involucrados. I would like to limit it to... Yeah, it's a good program because, like, for example, if you, you know, you tell your kids when they come home, or did yeah. you do your homework? Yeah. If they tell you, yeah, and whether they did it or not, if they don't submit it to the teacher, it's not accounted for. Exactly. So you can go on yeah. this program yeah. and see if the homework was given oh, to the teacher. Yeah. It's a great, yes, it's a so that's, great. But, but that's, that's the school doing it. Oh, okay. And you, you as a parent involved, right. you're looking, right. you're finding out. Mm -hmm. You're going into the yeah. into the website, going into your account, right. and you're asking, okay, what did my son do? Mm -hmm. What is? I'm gonna find out if they have it in the school. Because the I haven't heard nothing about it. Um, what? No, I, I understand. There's, I know. There's, I know there's that several, they several of them. Yeah, they, so, that's what I was gonna say. That there's the several programs. Is what What is the role of a parent? Yeah. Wow. What do you do in high school, in junior high school, which is similar to that to high school? Mm -hmm. What do you do? I would do the same. I would like really get involved in all of the resources that they have. So Talk what is it? What, what would be some of those things that you would do? The resources? Find out all the information and nip it down in the butt, you know, like... <laughs> coming to the <laughs> <laughs> You know, coming to the meetings yeah. and sitting down with the principal and finding out all the information that I need in order for my child but, to pass. So, because again, in... I would say that there is a difference between how different parents get involved. Yeah. Hay diferencias entre cómo los padres se involucran. There is. Some parents participate, mm -hmm. participan. They come to the meetings, mm -hmm. tienen las reuniones, okay? And then they go home. Mm -hmm. Is that happening? ¿Está eso ocurriendo? No, no, no. No, that's what I was going to say. Now, now all cases is going to be like that. Yeah. How, have the school communicated with you? Yeah. Yes, they have, but not, like sometimes you usually don't get the just of some information until you go to a parent-teacher conference. Okay. But you do have some teachers that will call you your, your child grades dropped or things like that, mm -hmm. but it's not all. Yeah. I feel, I feel, you know, us as parents, you know, coming to the meetings and getting involved, engaging, we are the voice. You know? So. Has your school outreach to you? How does your school outreach to you? They do the roll call. Okay. Yeah. They call us and, um, and whenever we're gonna have any source of activities, information okay. that we need or anything like that, they do roll calls. The same in your case, roll call. That's a, a phone system. Okay. Yeah. Um, usually the parent coordinator is the one. Or they, oh, we give out like the whole year calendar and it has in the beginning the information, of the year. yeah. The calendario del principio yeah. del año. In the beginning of the year, yeah. you should have all of yeah. all of the meeting dates for the mm -hmm. school leadership team, mm -hmm. PAs, and Title One. Yeah. That should be already in one calendar in the beginning of the year. If you need to make changes, then you yeah. send a notice out to make the changes. Mm -hmm. But that's a roll call, and then the roll call is used to as a reminder mm -hmm. for yeah. having this. Of course, the parent-teacher conferences, from the college of the Maestro, that should be in that calendar. Yeah. We, we, we invite um, parents as well to sit down with us in the um, SLT meetings. Okay. Well. So, uh, who invites them? Um, I do, as a PA president, the um, secretary. Um, she's she, not the secretary, she's the assistant principal. 
um, she invites like two or three Spanish parents just in case you know they get a little bit confused and the information that they don't have okay and they sit down with us so this is okay that's something mm -hmm. that would be nice to do ella dice que en su escuela algunas veces invitan a ciertos padres para que asistan yeah. a la reunión de, de, de equipos de liderazgo el equipo de liderazgo es una reunión pública so cualquier yeah. persona puede ir ok um, hasta ahora lo que se están tratando You have a you have a uh, you have a PC and, and uh, we we have a parent coordinator, but I I only saw her for certain reasons for bullying in the beginning, but that was about it. Well, so so the idea of the idea is the liaison as a liaison, the parent coordinator is the one mm -hmm. that has been assigned to communicate with parents in the name of the school mm -hmm. when about general things, activities inviting the parents to certain things that are happening in the school, okay? Uh, obviously, reminding the parents of having teachers, night, PA, Title I meetings, and things like that. That's to come to the school. To come to the school? Yeah, either for a meeting or for something um. Bronx work is in our school. I'm not really sure but Bronx what work title is a, is she a, is. A CBO. No, no, that's okay. a CBO. Ella dice que sí, hay una persona que sí se comunica, pero eso es una agencia okay. que está en el edificio. I think TAPCO has another, an agency inside. Yeah, they have um, team something. Um, okay. team so that's a partnership yeah. that the school has. ¿Tiene, hay una agencia dentro de su escuela? Una agencia de la comunidad. MCC, yeah. Is MCC. MCC. Yeah. Okay. That's a program. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so each school, schools have partnerships, okay? And what has happened is that sometimes the school is letting the partners communicate. Yeah. Uh, to, no, no, no. Just one person. I'm asking is, do you know if they know someone, or do you know someone in the school that you trust, that you have confidence in? Yeah, I make it my business to. That's what I was about to say too. Yeah. Knowing is not, but do you have confidence in someone? Someone who you think is your ally. Someone who you would trust in. I go straight to the well, principal. Yeah, I work. I work. Yeah. But she's new, like I explained to you earlier. So it's like she's also looking for that person that's gonna be right there with her, side to side. Yeah. So do you have someone? Do you have a, um, a trusted person, in, a, a staff person that you? I'm trust? the same way. Like what she said, you know, when I'm, I trust myself, but whenever I need to lean on someone, I go to the principal. Because I'm like, I, I'm new in the school, you know. I go to the principal or I'll go to, um, what's her name? I don't know what's her title in the school, but I know she works in the library. She makes all the paperwork and everything. So I go to her. So, so the idea is, the, the, the idea is de tener a alguien en el edificio con quien usted tiene cierto nivel de confianza. Uh, Okay. Y puede hablar sobre asuntos de la escuela, asuntos académicos. Uh, you have a certain level of confidence in that person. You're able to talk to a certain level of one child. You know, my question is, do you have someone? Because if you don't have anybody, then that's kind of isolating. Yeah, you know, it is. But I think puede aislarlo a su a usted y a su niño. Right, I believe that's why a lot of the people don't come out to the meetings. Yeah. They feel isolated. Yeah. And this is this is part of what mm -hmm. this particular training was asking the parent leaders to think in terms of a relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a relationship with everybody right. in the school building. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like there's, there's, um, I understand what you mean because there's, there's a lot of parents, Spanish folks that come up to me, and they, they, um, ellos me cogen confianza. They, they, um, confide in me to speak to me and to ask me certain but, uh, questions. This is, this is a. They, they even, they, this they is even. A pa parent to parent, right? Yeah. But I want you to think in terms of the school, the school themselves. Um. Staff. There, there's the some. There, there, there are some. Um, um, how do you call them? The school. Oh my God, I forgot how how you call them. They work with the kids in the lunchroom. Oh, the school aides. School aides. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's like there's like two or three or four of them. So the idea is they they more at ease. Personas. They put it in. Confianza. De nuevo, la confianza es académica sobre su niño y cómo está haciendo su niño y cómo te puede ayudar. So the idea is for you to begin to identify that person. Yeah. Who is that person? Or those people who may help you when it comes to your child and you helping your child. That is the idea in this case. So that, that's the type of relationship that we need. No, no, como ustedes, bueno, eso es eso, otra dinámica. She's saying that she thought I was talking about you as PA members and working together. That's oh. another dynamic. Yeah. Okay? Which, in this case, it also has to work. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So you have to have a certain amount of trust. Right. And, and I, I say uh, work trust. Right. Because you don't necessarily have to like it. But long term, that's oh. not a good that's way not. to relate. Yeah. That's what's happening in my school. Everybody is so tense. And you not you you may have that relationship with some people, mm -hmm. but if you have them with everybody, then mm -hmm. parents are not going to go inside, mm -hmm. and teachers and staff members are not going to communicate with parents. Right. So there is there needs to be a change. So you need to establish in, in a relationship that is a, a little bit more positive. And by positive, in this sense, is it needs to be give and take. Los padres tienen que trabajar con lo, con el personal de la escuela en una forma yeah. que es una colaboración. It's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. A collaboration and a persistence too, because my high school, um, they were telling the students things, but there was no documentation. I thought there was no documentation, but there actually was. Like, for example, we just did a lot of our senior stuff for, um, like, the school pictures and the senior dudes, but they were just giving the kids the information verbally. But the parents is like, I don't really know what to pay because I have nothing in writing. That's so okay, I said, go into the principal, go into the principal. Like, the parents need this information. Then they sent the paperwork home to the parents. So he was persistent. Yeah. Okay, estaba hablando de ella de que algunos de los estudiantes en la escuela Yeah, we we were allowed to ask um, as well what's going on with the money yes. at the school. Yes. Okay. Yeah, everything. They, they give us a breakdown. Okay. So, all right then. So, so this is part. So again, use your committees. Who's in su comité? Who's in su su cuerpo ejecutivo para hacer preguntas y dirigirse la y póngalas en el correo electrónico para que así tenga una documentación. If you do it by email, you discuss things with you. You're not going to do it alone. Not in this environment. Okay. So, so in the same way, you could have, have the freedom to speak to someone individually, but if you could still speak to them, but as another parent is there to be with you, simply to be the you know, eyes and ears, and then for feedback. When you get out of that meeting, did I sound okay? Was I terrible? Was I loud? Was I loud? I have a question based on Being some, something visible. similar to that. Um, my PA members, um, they are not in, as involved as me. Okay, wait. Let's go. My PA members, who are they? My... Um, my title one secretary and my treasurer. Okay. Well, they're, they're your executive board or their committee. Okay. Yes. PA members are all of the parents in your in your school. 
Okay. Use that language. Okay. I, and I understand, you know, sometimes uh, who, is the, who, are, who are the PA members? We usually say executive board members, okay? okay. This is something that also where we were told to be more inclusive, say, okay, so then my executive board, PA, secretary, treasurer, my Title I committee members, okay. PA, chairperson, secretary, treasurer, okay? And then when they say, so who's your PA, who are your PA members? Well, oh, you are my PA members. All the parents in my school are PA members. All the parents in my school are Title I members, okay? I'm the committee person, but you are my members. Okay. I am the chairperson, I am the PA president, but you are the PA, the PA of my school. That seems to be more inclusive when you say use that, that language. Sounds more correct, yeah. It was more inclusive, okay. But I, I know what you say. So are you a um, there's a name for, for this. Are you a, a lone wolf? Yeah. Are you the lone, okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's when one person does a lot of the work. Okay. Yeah. I know. So, okay. Then ask me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, no, no. I, I, I like the fact that you corrected that because it, yeah. sound, it, it actually sounds, sounds better. better. Yes. Wait, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it might make more parents get involved. Right. <laughs> um. So, my two executive board members, um, they they are not so involved, and like I try to communicate with them, you know. I try to be direct, very informed, and I text them there. and everything, but they not there. It's like, it's like they want to be Nobody. there. They want to be known, but... In your case, are they involved? You other... No. No. I think one of the... Hold on, let me... Is that the other person that's involved in the program? Oh, this is the dynamic group. Oh, I have the treasurer and the secretary. Where's the president? She said she's involved. Okay. But she's she's on she's with you guys? Okay. So uh tu eres la presidente? What uh gay school? That's in the, yeah, that's in the uh, Evander Evander building. Oh, Evander Child. Yeah, she's she's also one of my okay. superintendents. Okay. I know. Okay. So I she's a, she's in a big building. Yeah, yeah I heard of that school. So I usually use that for collaboration. I usually um, sit down at a conference. Yeah, I sit upstairs and I'm like, oh, I sit it out for some snacks and drinks. And I collaborate and do whatever you can, you know. Uh, if, you, if you have time during the daytime, I'll tell you this. Parents should not be visiting the school on Wednesday after college. Lo cual no debe de visitar una escuela, a menos que no tenga ninguna tarea que hacer. Visitar una escuela sin tarea, es empezar con él. So if you go to your school, you go to because you're doing something. You're going to do, when you go to the school, it's because you're going to do something. So you don't want parents just sitting around, not doing anything. So again, you ask your parents from there, hey, what are the things?
Uh, done with the meeting. Success accomplished. Got a lot of important information. So I'm gonna go eat something now. And then at 4:30, uh, I have another meeting for SLT. As you guys saw, I was really, really tired. So I was editing all night. So, but yeah, let's go grab some coffee right now. Get it over and done with. And I don't have to come to the meeting at 4 or at 6. Yes, baby. Let's get that money. See you guys in a little bit. Dunkin' Donuts. Let's get some coffee. How you doing? I know, but let you come. Good afternoon. Uh, a banana chai, half. It's a uh, medium. Jelly donut? Four dollars, you said? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I took a little minute. I was counting what the, the other guy gave me. Uh, should I wait over here? Oh, yeah. Alright. guys so Valena chai <clears throat> so much going on so so much going on on this earth everyone arguing with each other around the holidays it's ridiculous it's sad it really is <sighs> I'm over here on Fordham Row shopping industry just finished my meeting and everyone arguing with each other over silly stuff the other people suffering across the country not going through hunger crazy but yeah I have the sniffles today <sighs> if I was rich I will feed all of the homeless people and take care of the children <sighs> one day that will happen I'll talk to you guys in a few. I'm not sure if I'm going to decide to take the bus or the train. I'll walk. One second. <laughs> Grand Concourse. That's the sizzle on the Grand Concourse. Give you guys a better aspect. One second. Oh, almost getting cold. It's getting chilly out here. Oh my god. You know, the day, the day started not good. Just wanted to let you guys know that <clears throat> I spent all, spent all night editing both of the videos that I dropped last night. And I fell asleep around four in the morning. My alarm woke me up at six 
640 got up got dressed got up got dressed and then I get my 11 year old ready and he decides that to tell me that he forgot to make his ugly Christmas sweater and I made that for him an ugly Christmas sweater for school today then he goes to tell me that he needs a present as well and I told him that he had to wait for that I couldn't get it so he left late my little one got to school late and I got late to my meeting because <sighs> the devil likes playing games but all in all we all made it to our destination where we need what we needed to do got it done and over with um, got some good news I don't need to go to the meeting at 4 you know for the president's council meeting or the 6 o'clock one so I'm gonna go and head to my SLT meeting get that done and over with because your girl yeah she gotta get that money you know money 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 if you don't do it nobody else is gonna do it for you so stay motivated stay positive stay blessed we'll speak in a little bit and i have my coffee i'm about to have my nice little donut don't tell nobody shh you gotta keep your mouth shut don't tell nobody uh, yeah so i'm gonna go home early now so i'll cook a little bit because there was no rice left over but there was still chicken so get that done and over with for tonight and everything can be prepared and I won't have to go all crazy tonight I'm definitely going to sleep early early because your girl has been going to sleep late and that's no bueno that's not good for my health um, my leg is actually curing up it's getting better it doesn't hurt as much the ankle still hurts a little bit but not as much I've been soaking it in Epsom water Epsom, Epsom yeah you know you know what I mean hot water with <laughs> Epsom salt there you go that's a tongue twister uh, yeah so let's go home ow that hurt damn it I'm constantly twisting my ankle right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. finally home you know another thing I wanted to t tell you guys that's one of the reasons why I love working from home because you are your boss and you work around your schedule you set your schedule the way you want it you know how convenient can you make it um, the meetings you know and so on and so forth and you still get paid for it you know so that's pretty awesome so, but you know right now I'm talking to you guys I'm working I just came from work the meetings at 4 30 at the SLT that's work so it's pretty cool so work all day no play hey you guys my energy is totally low so I'm super tired <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if I should just end the vlog and add the footage with everything that I have for today I couldn't um, I couldn't blog while um, I couldn't blog while I was at my meeting for the SLT because my son he had the phone and he was he was um, he was watching the cartoons and stuff but um, they were just basically you know talking about a breakdown based on uh, what's happening with the school and the numbers and everything but yeah my energy is super low I want to start a new video or I'm not sure if I should just add it 
I'm gonna cook um, some pork chops, mashed potatoes, corn. I have some salad, tomatoes, and I think that's about it. But yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to make that video, so I'll see. Let me see how much footage I have. How much can I merge? Um, it wasn't exciting stuff for today, so it was very like quiet and boring. But um, it was just basically a uh, you know common day of stuff that I do when I go out there and um, as PA uh, PA president and um, learning leadership at uh, SLT and um, working for UFT as well. But the kids are here. They're right there playing. I'm totally tired. I know you can see it. I'm like super tired. My makeup is totally off. But I don't know. Let me see what I'm going to do, okay? If um, I do decide. Uh, making a video just want to say peace love and blessings to everyone um, I'll see you guys in the next video if I do make a video <laughs> If I don't I'll just add the food video on this one okay? Peace and blessings to everyone. See you guys